<laughs> hey, I'm Clara. Welcome to No Can Do and welcome to my office. Today is the office reveal of my apartment tour and I'm going to share with you exactly how I DIY'd this second bedroom in my apartment and turned it into a creative office space. I did this using renter friendly products, so if you love thrifting, DIY, and furniture flipping, you are going to love this project. This is a second bedroom in my two bedroom apartment where I rent, and this is the before. I had a bunch of stuff in here, I was living with a partner, he moved out, and I started fresh. The first thing that I did was installing some peel and stick wallpaper that I got from Target. It's pretty easy to install peel and stick wallpaper. You just need to have the wallpaper and like a squeegee or something to help get it on there. However, I kind of did it the hard way. I had already used some of it and so the edges didn't quite line up on the roll the way that they should have. It's a boring long story, but you'll just see me struggling a little bit more than you might struggle if you use peel and stick wallpaper. Once I got the peel and stick wallpaper up, don't worry, I do finish it. <laughs> I put the rest of the things in my office, like my desk and uh, my bookshelf. This bookshelf I've had since I was a little kid and it's a really shiny surface and I just didn't like it being white so I decided I wanted to paint it. I had just got some Dixie Belle paint from a last project that I did with that Ikea Calyx unit. So I used the other color that I did not use for that project. First up, of course, I'm cleaning and just getting this surface ready to paint. I've really been loving using Dixie Belle paint. I've really loved their colors and I kind of feel like I had a cohesive color palette going through my apartment because I've painted so many things with their paint colors. So even though everything isn't the same color, it just feels like it's in the same color family because it's from the same brand. I've also really been loving the zebra brushes. I've been using them for months now and at first I didn't like using paint brushes and I was all about my sprayer, but now that I'm doing so many more smaller projects around my apartment and for my apartment, I really love these zebra brushes. They're really versatile. So here is the bookshelf after one coat of paint. I ended up doing three coats of paint and a coat or two of wax. I use Annie Sloan clear wax on top to seal my pieces. While the bookshelf was drying, I decided it was time to hang up some artwork. I got this piece and I kind of just decided that the theme for this room is blue and oceany. I do love the water. I am a Cancer uh, star sign, so I don't know. I just love water. Third tries a charm with uh, hanging that piece. So I asked my landlord for some paint that is used for the walls of my apartment and I just did some touch-ups. Um, and actually it just made the wall look so much nicer, not just there, but I ended up going around the whole room and finding spots that just needed to be touched up anyway, even from before I moved in. So like on the door, there were some nicks that I didn't cause, they were just there. Um, and same, you'll see on the window ledge in just a second. Um, even though I had cleaned off the window ledge really well here, there were still some kind of like dirt stains. And so getting in those nooks and crannies and painting over that just really helped freshen up the whole ledge and just the whole room in general. If you are renting and your landlord is okay with it, um, just let them know that you have these DIY skills. Let them know that you're a furniture painter and ask if you can have a little bit of the paint that they use for the walls in your rental. Um, I feel like I'm doing them a service, honestly, and it's, it's good for me too. I prefer to have the clean paint look. So now I'm putting everything back in my bookshelf. And again, I sealed this bookshelf with Annie Sloan wax in clear. And 
the room is a total mess and a total disaster. Um, I have studio lights that I use for filming YouTube videos uh, and I moved my desk. You can see this was the before. I had totally different curtains and it was just very blank. And now here is the after. I designed this entire room around putting a chair to look out the window. I only have two south facing windows in my apartment so I wanted to be able to look out the window and enjoy the afternoon sunlight. By the way, do you recognize this chair? This is when I turned a chair from this swivel rocker into this updated West Elm dupe and I'll link that video below. I think whenever you're designing a space or a piece, you should think about the functionality of it as well as the colors and the beautiful design choices of it. So for me, having a space that I could read by the window and also a space where I could film YouTube videos, work at my desk and also play music was really important to me. I got so many free scores. This table or little end table I found in the free pile of my apartment. I also got these adorable little plant hangers that are ceramic from the free pile in my apartment building as well. And I just hung them up on either side of the window. Um, I did buy that desk from Ikea. It's a standing and sitting desk. So if I wanna stand, I just use the hand crank uh, I can record YouTube videos on my microphone here. Of course, here's my lovely bookshelf that I got for free because I've had it since childhood, but I just refreshed that with like $10 of paint. I got a couple of really amazing Dollar Tree scores, this gold wire basket and these candle holders that I'm using like as a pencil cup. I got all of them at the Dollar Tree for a dollar each. It would not be a room of my apartment if there weren't a ton of plants in here. I'm desperately trying to keep them alive and I'm doing an okay job. I also love things that smell nice. So I have an essential oil diffuser that I got, I think at TJ Maxx for a good deal. Do you remember this stool that I used? Well, I chalk painted that. It was also a relic from my childhood and now it is holding one of my amps. All my instruments are in one place, so if I'm feeling inspired, I can just go pick them up off the wall and get to playing. And that's very important to me also to have them out and accessible in a place where I can just grab them if I come up with an idea. One more time, just for contrast, here's the before and here is the after. I love my new office and creative space and I can't wait to show you all the other rooms in my apartment as well. Thanks for watching.